Who are you? We are Haim. Haim, welcome to South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. We're excited. First off, what's going on right now? You have a better hat than me. No. I don't think we have a better hat than you. I think yours is definitely better, but we tried. We we studied it and we this did our best. Up with. But if you want a new one, we can make you a new one. And excuse me, I was kind of rude. I was fixating on your hats and not your names. Who are you individually? Please introduce the members of Haim. Who are you? Esti Haim. Danielle Haim. Alana Haim. And together you are? Haim! Now, Haim, aside from hats, you guys love Elvis, don't you? Suspicious Minds. Oh my god, I love that Elvis. Actually, oh my, my favorite, that's crazy. That is my favorite song. He does a live version of it in Las Vegas that is one of my favorite songs I've ever listened to in my whole life. Well, have you guys ever been to Hawaii at all? Yes, yes, actually. Do you want to hear Elvis in Hawaii? Yes. yes. I have a gift for you right here. Suspicious no. Minds no. Live. Rehearsal! Rehearsal! <gasps> Where did you find this? This is my favorite song. Oh my god, I love him. No, you are. Is Esty sort of psychic? I think so. I think I think you say she, psychic. Yeah. Some people say psycho. It doesn't, you know. You said sweaty because when Esty is sweaty, what happens? I don't know. She. I don't know what happens. She just. I. She just ha has base face all the time. What happens when she gets sweaty, Nardwa? I feel like you know the answer. When you get sweaty, and I have another gift for you. You need to have some Elvis perfume. Oh, oh. no! Wh where did you get this, Nardwa? I smell, Esty. I smell really <laughs> bad. I do. I smell really bad when I get sweaty. I just saw it when you're listening to Elvis, you know, because that's what he would use. Can I tell you something? In this song, in the version that I love, they do um, a fade in and a fade out, which, you know, it's like kind of like DJ sets, like turning the volume up and turn it back down, but they do it naturally. That was like my favorite part. It's like Elvis was a genius, and I love Elvis, and this is the you best. This is genius. This is not perfume, Nardwar. It's definitely aftershave. <laughs> so yeah, I know you're also trying to tell me maybe I need to... Is that what you're trying to tell it's me? It's a two-in-one package. Okay. It's a two-in-one okay. package. Okay. Okay. I mean, look at the nice packaging, the too. The packaging is great. Amazing. It's, it's great. epic. Uh, feel free to rub it on me if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think... Oh. Okay. Let me smell. Let me smell. Now I am Elvis. Now you are and Elvis. Heim. <laughs> what is the Heim smell, by the way? What is the Heim smell? We're getting close. The <laughs> smell. This is, this is getting close. This yeah. is pretty close. It's pretty much we smell like dudes. Quote, oh my gosh, Esty, look at her hair. It's like... <laughs> so big. Could you please tell me what is going on right here Yay! with the Valley Girl? Could you please explain here. This takes a bit of explaining. Could you please tell the people? Okay, okay well... When we were young, we all have a past, and what happened was we, I mean, I wasn't in the band. I was in the band. I was just the cute little sister that I, I wish I was in the band. I was the cheerleader. I was the cheerleader. I had a bleached okay, blonde Tell the mullet. people. Point to the people where everybody is. I had a nice little mullet. I was like 16 in, this picture. in my uh, like punky phase. We were just yeah, was like 11. And SD, who is this again? Could you please tell the people? That's my sister, Danielle, <laughs> with blue hair. Blue hair. Yeah. My we time. all have a past. The it's early all two thousands was an interesting time for fashion and music, so I think that we we kindly represent that in this picture. Well, Daniel, I want to ask you about those nice pants you're wearing. I love I what's on there. I love, I it is pretty punky. More rock and roll. ACDC. Angus. Angus is my favorite guitar player. I play in SG. So Adina Howard with Freak Like oh Me. Because that will be a freak until, until the night, until the dawn. Oh my God. Boop, boop. What's the importance of Freak Like Me to Adina Howard? Could you please explain? The importance of Freak Like Me, she knew what she wanted. She was an independent woman and she laid it on the line. She had a little freakiness inside and that's what she said in the song. And it's a great song. You get down to that, Nardwar. I know you do. I do. And I think of ladies and I think of moms. And your mom was on the gong show? Yeah. She was on the gong show. She won the gong show. What did she win? And what other shows has she been on? And can we see that clip? Oh, my gosh. I would love, my mom would love to show you that clip. She, my parents were actually, my parents were in one show called Let's Make a Deal because they needed money to go on their honeymoon. And they won money to go on their honeymoon. They won $2,000 on Let's Make a Deal. But my, I was born nine months later after the honeymoon. It's not right after they got married. And then, but my what's the honeymoon? Um, it happened to be in Hawaii. Weird. So you were born in Hawaii? I was. I was made in Hawaii. That's gross. That's gross. But anyways, my Nardwar. My mom, when she was 21 or 20 years old, she got scouted at a coffee shop and in LA because she wanted to be like the next. Um, 
Joni Mitchell. Mitchell, and she went on the Gong Show and lost the first time. She lost to a Pop and Lock dance crew, a, a father and son and Pop, Pop and Lock dance crew. crew. And then she got asked to come back again because she was just so loved, and she sang a Bonnie Raitt song that was a B side called "Let Me Be Your Blender," and she won. And we have a Gong in our house. How would you describe Esty when she plays? Epic. What? Epic. But what does she look like? She, she looks like what we call bass face. Can you demonstrate? I me demonstrate? Yeah, I mean, okay, I there you go. There it's you like go. that. She always bobs her head. It's like she's it's like a stink thing. It's like she smells something, but it's it's awesome. There's every there's actually a Twitter account that is Esty's bass face. It's true. You guys did an amazing job on the Nard hats. How did you put together Nard hats? Like, how hard is it to make a Nard hat? It's really hard. Really it's hard. hard. Nard war. We every vintage store in LA could not find we anything remotely them. like it. We had to make our own. How did you make them? Like, how did you do that? Like, what did you look for? We looked for caps. All so sans this, sans the pom pom. Just caps, and we finally found that we went to like 70 different thrift stores and found three different ones, and then went to Joanne's Fabrics, bought a glue gun and some pom-poms. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, and there you have it. How about the glasses? We went to a CV, believe me, the glasses were the hard part. Hard that was one. the hardest part. It took it yours. Uh, the 90s make my glasses. The 90s. Yeah, like I got them back then. I literally looked at I think 20 thrift stores and many drug stores. And believe me, I wanted to find the perfect pair. These are definitely not yeah. not <laughs> showing like you. Last minute. Last minute. Like, last I literally minute. had, I, went, I was so frustrated that I went up and I was like, to the people, and I was like, do you know who Nardwar is? Can you please just help me find Nardwar glasses? And it was, finally, we found these. I hope we, play, we pay homage. Oh, it's amazing. I really appreciate okay. that. You know, it's so good. Thank you. Yeah. We look like a family now, don't we? Now we, you actually, we actually it's look like a family. It's, ama though, it's just yeah. amazing. Like, waste, your wasteland experience came in handy, didn't it? Really it? Did. it really did. Years mm -hmm. of experience. You know, Tom Petty, he's an important person for you guys, isn't he? He is the most important person to us. <gasps> but when you went to the Petty gig, did you pick up a tour program? I don't think yeah. so. And I, I feel like so. you're about to tell me if I did. Yeah. Well, you're going to pick one up right now. Yeah. I have an official Tom Petty tour program from 85 for you guys. God, amazing. And check it out. It's pretty cool. Like, look what they did for tour programs. Like, That's when you. Don't come around here no more. Yeah. Uh, like on the tour, they gave these night. Pro they basically gave out. Isn't it amazing? Oh my God! Oh, look Mont. at Ben Mon. Oh my God! Look at Ben Mon. Ben Mon. So he played with you. Yeah, yes. he played on a couple of our songs. So now you can get him to autograph the oh tour program. Oh, oh my God! Oh look there at he that! Is. Look at that! Oh my God! How did you hook up with him? Because that's pretty exciting. Yeah, um, he's amazing. We ended up just playing. He he loves just jamming. Kind of, I know it sounds really dorky, but just jamming at a, that random jam sessions in LA. And we ended up playing together once. And um, he liked one of our songs, and he wanted to. He said, "If you ever record it, I'm down to play um, on it." There we have it, Tom yeah. Petty for a high. Oh, there we go. I'm so glad there's a connection. That's awesome. <laughs> Quote: Saw the show. Want to bone down with any of you single ladies? Blank, rude word, by whenever. Oh my god, what? what? That's definitely that? a, Wait, they... Wait, did you say that? That was, I think, on your Tumblr. Me? Or Instagram was a note that was left on one of your hotel room doors. Oh! oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We, were, we played... Uh, did I read the note correctly? You did, you did. I tried to... If I said rude word, I said rude word. Yeah, yeah. Um, we played a show um, in Palm Springs at Coachella. There was like a, a pool party that we played. And I don't know whoever. I think his name was Serge with an umlaut. Um, he found out where our hotel, like what hotel room we were staying in and slipped that note under, um, under our door. Our door. And it was pretty much, the, that was the first creepy thing that has ever happened to us. And uh, I mean, I hope it happens again. There's gonna be many more of those moments I'm to come. Sure, I'm sure. How do you guys screen the phone numbers that you give out to people? Because there's a lot of phone numbers that are given out, isn't there? Uh, I answer all of them. I don't, I don't screen phone calls. How do you stop her? I don't, we she can't. doesn't. That's the problem, we yeah. can't stop her, she's unstoppable. Some promo pics of Peter Green era, oh. Fleetwood Mac. Oh. Oh, oh, thank so you. Oh my God. Yeah. That is, Please explain.
explain the Peter Green era and your connection to it in Haim. Um, we play a Peter Green era Fleetwood Mac song called Oh Well Live. It I mean, I love the Peter Green era. I feel like a lot of people, when we play it, a lot of people think that it's our song. Yeah. And thank you for thinking it's our song, but it's, it's not. It's a cover. And it's just a lot, it's cool that a lot of people haven't heard it. A Prince yeah. tour program. Oh my God. We, Did you find From 1984, yeah. Neptune Records in Vancouver. 1984 oh. 85, Prince Maybe tour. Lisa. And he might be here at South By. I know. We're going to try and see. He could maybe. Wait, Sign wait, it. Oh Do you have the hookup to this? Yeah, can you help us sneak in? This will be the hookup. <laughs> the you hookup sh you throw this on stage. Well, you know, SD almost got arrested at a Prince concert. Yeah, please explain. Because I tried to get on stage, and I think the security thought that I was going to do something to him. Well, and to you would have. To be fair, he asked all the ladies to come up on stage, and we were kind of we were in the, in the, <laughs> in the nosebleed bar. section, but we, we ran down. She saw um, like a table that was just like for a table production. right near the stage. And she, on her six-inch heels, she hopped onto the table. She had I literally saw this happening because I was too scared to go up. She had one hand up. She was on, on it. I literally, she felt victory. Victory was there. And then all of a sudden, the security guard with his hand on her face, literally by her face, <laughs> Pushed me, pushed back, yeah. and there were security guards. That, I think this is like a tactic that they use. I don't know, but there were security guards behind her that caught her. Yeah, so pushed by the face, catching, and then literally three by my arms. At least, at least five security guards took her by her arms and escorted her out of the section. And I tried to get them to stop by telling them I was diabetic and that I was hurting and they were hurting me. So, so when you reach out to somebody, do you reach out like in a prince okay. way or? We yeah. do it like this. We reach out like this. Just, and then you get that. That's, we just do a hand in the face. That's when you know that we like you. In hand the in the face. face. Nardwar. <laughs> You've had a lot of practice at that. It's true. We've learned from those security guards. Just take them by the face, That's push. Tactic. Yeah. Hand. Oh, do, do you want me to do it to you again? Uh, feel free, yeah. In the face. Yeah, that's how it goes. That's how we, I'll fix your hat for you. Oh, there you go. Well, thanks so much, Haim. I really appreciate it, Gain. The amazing hats. Thank you so much. That's so, so nice of you. I really appreciate it. Well, thanks so much, Haim. Keep on rocking in the free world. And do do the loot do 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 This is a dream come true.